What's good YouTube? In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to play Bangalore in Ranked Arena. Now, Bangalore is probably one of the most, if not the underrated legend when it comes to arenas. I mean, she is a good legend. She can also be a bad legend for the team. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you could play Bangalore and use her correctly for arenas so it could help you for wins uh, for the team and for you, and also how to win your gunfights while using Bangalore. Now, everything that we talk about with Bangalore is gonna be based off her abilities. All three of her abilities are very helpful, which is rare for the legends in Apex because majority of the time, the legends will have probably like one or two two abilities that are useful but the fact that Bangalore is one of the legends that can have all three abilities useful is a plus for her now like I said Bangalore is a legend that can be good for the team but can also hurt the team a lot the first thing I want to say when we're talking about Bangalore is really to play aggressive with the with Bangalore so if you're playing Bangalore I feel like you should be more aggro when it comes to uh, your you and your team uh, Bangalore in my opinion is probably probably the legend that you want to have or be if you are teamed up or party up with others so that means that you're communicating with your teammates because her abilities are because every single one of her abilities help the team but can also hurt the team now before we talk about how every ability can help let's explain and talk about what abilities she has now her passive is called double time and double time is one of the best passives in the game for all the legends her tactical is her smoke grenade now the smokes is what helped and what hurts the team the most uh, her smokes are very useful and you could get really creative with it when using it we're going to be talking about that later in the video and her ultimate is called rolling thunder which is like a gibraltar ult this right here is a little bit different from gibraltar ult but this right here you could get creative with this as well her ult you could get like once every three rounds uh there's other legends that have the same like gibraltar crypto revenant and i'm pretty sure like caustic you get those like once every three rounds so her ult is good as well but really not for the damage purpose but just to be creative with it we're going to be talking about that later on as well but like i said bangalore is a legend that in my opinion i feel like you want to be aggressive with and you want to have a team or a party with so you guys can communicate with especially her smoke grenades because if you are playing with a solo bangalore and if she is just throwing smokes everywhere that's definitely going to hurt the team like okay so the first thing we're going to talk about is her smoke grenades which is her tactical now i feel like this is the best thing about bangalore there's so many reasons why you want to use this smoke grenade now the first thing when it comes to talking about bangalore for arenas is her smokes only cost 50 materials and i think in total you could buy five i think five is the max it's five or six i forgot but in, for me usually every round i want to have at least three uh i shoot for four when it comes to her smokes i think you get two automatically and when you throw her smokes you could throw two at a time then there's a cooldown the cooldown is anywhere between 20 to 25 seconds for the cooldown when they're, with her smoke grenade so the ability doesn't cost much and you could get a lot of them now the best way to use the smoke is to block the enemy's line of sights also you want to smoke legends that are using head glitches now when legends are using head glitches these are majority of the time like the pathfinders gibraltars the taller legends they'll be using the supply bin as a cover so you could easily smoke them and take them out of the game because of your smoke ability and another reason why you want to use the smokes is for the digi the digi threat the digi threat allows you to see through the smoke most of the time it'll force your enemies to use submachine guns or pistols or whatever because they need to have a digi when playing against a bangalore so most of the time the smokes will change how the enemies play and then one of the last reasons to have and use the smoke grenades is because you want to use it for cover for either you or your teammates whether that means that they're crossing somewhere or maybe they just need to use it because they're healing so the enemies don't 
push or ape them so there's so many reasons why you want to use bangalore and her smoke grenades and in my opinion the smoke grenades are the best thing about bangalore now the first thing that was said is we want to block the enemy's line of sight when using her smokes the reason why we want to do that is because this is what allows us to get aggressive right if we block the enemy's line of sights majority of the time they're not going to be able to see us but the next thing that we're going to talk about is bangalore's passive now this is great for pairing up with her smokes because her passive allows you to have double time which is a 40 percent speed boost uh you get this for a short period of time just similar to like a octane uh stem and when you're doing this this is good to pair up with the smokes because let's say if you smoke the enemies then that means that they're probably shooting randomly and this will activate your passive and this will give you the momentum to run and strafe all around your uh team or your enemies so that they don't know where to shoot and you can get them lost easily so do this confuse your enemies this will help out a lot this also helps with bangalore and her 1v1 gunfight uh this gives you the strafe and the running ability quick and a lot faster than other legends so they'll be hard to track you and kill you so use this as an advantage bangalore's passive is probably one of the best in the game now the next thing we're going to talk about is bangalore's ultimate like i said earlier you could get this once every Every three rounds so the first time you could get it is in round three and when you get it it does cost 500 materials it's one of the most expensive abilities to get in the game so that's something to keep an eye out for i do not think that bangalore's ultimate is worth 500 materials or even something that's once every three rounds because it's not like something that you throw her ult and you're looking for damage because your teammates can't really go through it it'll stun them as well uh, her ult does cover a majority it covers ground right so the main purpose why you want to use bangalore's ult is to make the team the enemies make them scramble and maybe throw them off their game plan because they're you know going everywhere and once this is done you could take height or push up and cover ground it's not something to where you look at it like a gibraltar ult and you're looking to knock or do big damage to them it's more of to just cover ground and just remember that this does affect your enemies so yes it affects your enemies but it also affects your teammates don't throw it on your teammates you know you want to throw it um, across from you because when you use Bangalore's ultimate it will stun your teammates so just remember that that's very key and same thing with Bangalore's smoke right you don't want to throw the smoke on your teammates because if they don't have digi threats then it'll hurt uh, um, your teammates a lot you want to use it to cover or to block enemies line of sight so you want to throw it at the enemies but you have to realize that your, uh, your teammates probably won't be able to shoot them if your teammates have a good angle and they have good shots on the enemies, then do not throw your smokes at the enemies. Now, the best guns to have for Bangalore are within the first two rounds. My opinion, Mozambique purple, meaning the Mozambique has has a digi threat, and you could get this in the first round, right? It costs 450 materials, so you'll have 100 left over. And what I'll do is I'll grab like uh, the Mozambique purple and two extra smokes so i'll have the mozambique purple first round and four smoke launchers so use that because the mozambique is actually pretty good just in case if you guys don't know or haven't tried it and then after that like the third round and and on in my opinion i'm gonna say take your favorite submachine gun the reason why you want to have submachine gun is one because of the digi threat if you can get it and two because bangalore and her passive uh her double time it helps with submachine guns because it allows you to strafe and move quicker so take advantage of that and use submachine guns to help with bangalore's abilities now the best teammates to have for sure the best teammates to have for a bangalore are a bloodhound because bloodhound if bloodhound activates his ult you could easily throw smokes at him and at the enemies and allow your bloodhound to uh get aggressive and push up through the smoke because they're able to see so bangalore and bloodhound are the perfect combo another legend to team up with bangalore is an octane because octane is a speedster just like bangalore is with her passive and also like i said this bangalore i would say bangalore is more of a aggressive legend to play as so it's good to team her up with legends like bloodhound and octane who can 
you guys could just be aggressive with and of course when we're talking arenas a lifeline is always good as well so if you wanted to replace any of those uh lifeline bloodhound octane all three good options when teaming up with bangalore now the best map when playing bangalore in arenas has to be overflow and party crasher these two maps i feel like you could easily smoke you line of sights of enemies that allow you to push up and it helps the team out a lot and another key thing that i want to say when you're using bangalore is when you're using her smokes because you don't want to hurt your teammates with it sometimes use bangalore and don't have a digi you know so you can understand what it's like for your teammates when you're smoking something because you always want to just use the smoke just to block the line of sight this won't hurt your teammate right if it hurts you because you can't see or whatever just imagine what it would be like for your teammates you know you don't want your teammates to think that you're annoying when you in bangalore you know bangalore is one of the most underrated underused legends so hopefully this video helps you guys and hope you guys see the examples that i put in the background for bangalore um, let me know what you guys think and this is the video so don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys on the next one